I'm Amy with ResonantRockstar.com and I'm here with St. Ridley outside the Summit Music Hall. So why don't you guys uh, tell me your names and what you do? I'm David. I play guitar. My name is Paul. I'm the singer. Richard. I play drums. Cody. I'm the bass. Did you get all that? I got all that. I'll forget in like five minutes. I'm okay. sorry. Just remind me or smack me in the back of the head. Um, <laughs> So, I purposely did not learn anything about your band because I wanted to ask you a bunch of jazz oh, questions and make you tell me about yourself. So, uh, where are you from? Detroit, Michigan. I knew that one just because you're proud of it. <laughs> no, we're not. No, I'm just kidding. We're... <laughs> and uh, how long have you guys been a band? What day is it? Uh, it ends in Y. <laughs> We've been a band for like roughly two years. Nice. Nice. So, uh, and you guys are out on tour with Cold Chamber, American Head Charge, Filter, Comedy Christ. Uh, how's that going for you? We love every second of it. Everyone is so cool and like has accepted us right away. Uh, Comedy Christ, I'm sure we're going to get in trouble with them. Maybe some <laughs> charges pressed eventually. Uh, <laughs> Felonies. Yeah. Um, They're cold. playing right now. Yep. Yeah. They're kicking ass too. They stole sure. felony hammer. Yeah, they did. They stole your what? Our felony hammer. What's a felony Don't hammer? Ask. Okay, that's another interview. Um, so you're from Detroit. You love to play music. Uh, what? Uh, how would you describe your music? Like, I don't want to say what I thought it was like. I want to hear what you guys, how you would describe your band. Like Fergie and Jesus. Yeah, like a cross between Fergie. Fergie and Jesus. Which one pees himself first? You know what? Actually, I would describe our band as like take do the band down. And any really good 90s metal band, have them fuck, <laughs> and there we are. Okay, that's a, an accurate description. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I've never seen you before live. I purposely didn't listen to any music on the internet because I wanted to be like unbiased and right. hear you play live, and I was impressed. I was bouncing yeah. up and down, so yeah. all my pictures are going to be blurry. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, but where does your like musical influence come from? Like, what are you guys singing about? Where, you, like, what are your biggest influences when you're writing music? Uh, uh, pretty much just what's happening to us, you know, at the time. You know, <laughs> a lot of it's experience, and a lot of it's um, sometimes the only reason I'm not committing a felonious assault is because I've actually been able to put how I feel and what happened down on a piece of paper and be able to put that CD out there so that piece of shit can hear that song about them. That's good, yeah. I think music has saved a lot of people from felonies and prison time and even death. For so sure. yeah, I mean, I, I, I can wholeheartedly stand behind that. So let's ask some like silly questions. Like, um, if you were an ice cream flavor, which flavor would you be? Superman. It's tough. Rainbow Sherbert. You would definitely be Rainbow Sherbert. You would. Powerpuff Girls. Mint That's an ice cream flavor? flavor? Gumball. I, have, I don't know. Mint chocolate chip. Mint chocolate chip. I would be Pralines and Dick. So oh my Can you God. name? Can you name the movie that's Wayne's from? World. Yeah! <laughs> no Five amateur. points for this guy. All right. So we're not really playing movie trivia, but um, I don't know. What is your guys' favorite movie? You guys like movies? What do you like? Oh, I have a favorite movie. What's your favorite movie? I've probably seen it 146,000 times, and I could actually tell you every word in order for the whole damn script of the movie, but I am a total crow geek. That's a good one. Crow is a good one. You hear they're going to remake it or something, or there's another one coming out? I hope it doesn't happen. I, I, I personally am sick of people remaking movies. <laughs> right. Come up with something original. Um, let's see, what else can I ask you guys? I don't really have anything else to ask you guys. Good long walks on the beach. Yeah. Head straight down. I'm a Virgo. Um, Virgo. <laughs> Libra, Scorpio, Custard. Yeah. He lost it um, at 16. <laughs> Early. So, so how has this tour been treating you otherwise, besides the other bands? Like, have you guys been doing good with merch? Have people been liking your music? Have people been buying your CDs? Like, how is that all going down? Merch has been the best it's ever been. People are really digging the CD and people are really giving us awesome feedback. You know, we couldn't be more grateful and more humbled and it's such an amazing experience. Like, and we work so hard, you know, and it's just so nice to finally be appreciated, you know. Right. It's like, you know, we're not getting a big head about it. We know this could end tomorrow. But, um, you know, we just really love what we do and it's so nice to finally fit in. Like, every tour we've been on, we didn't fit in. We were always too heavy for all the other bands. We get on this tour and we finally fit in and it is such a good feeling. That was another question I was going to ask you is like how many other tours have you been on and, and how do they compare to this one? So you kind of answered that already, but... Well, this is our like most general demographic. 
you know what I mean? Right. For listeners anyways, you know what I mean? Like the other ones, like we figured out the other people we could pick up, like we would get the boyfriends, you know, who came with their girlfriends who wanted to see this band, you know, like, mm -hmm. so like you get that stuff, but like here it's our perfect demographic. It's the people that we are, you know, like, right. it's awesome. Yeah, it's a really diverse lineup in this show too. It's not, it's not all exactly the same and it's not all so completely different that you're yeah. getting like crowd cr flashes, you know, and stuff like that, so. Yeah, if, if I wasn't playing this tour, in my hometown, I would, I would buy a ticket and go see this tour. Like, yeah, for real. I'm stoked. <laughs> and, and you guys have CDs for sale. What is the name of your CD? Uh, we got a tour exclusive right now. That's a bunch of new, heavier stuff that we are only selling to people who actually see us in person. Ooh. So Fancy. you can't have it. Ha ha. No, but uh, <laughs> we got another full length that's on like every digital download site known to man called Fool, Fool or a King. Um, yeah, it's full length. Was it eleven songs? Ten? Oh, it's ten songs. Sorry. Ten songs, and you can get it on your website. Your website? A uh, website in the mix right now, but iTunes, Amazon, all that stuff. On every Facebook, possible. Twitter. Do you yeah. have all those things? Yeah, you yeah. can find all that. All the social networking. You just Google it. If you can't work a computer, yeah, just go to our Facebook you know. page. You can buy our music. So right can I have a CD? Totally. Do I get a CD? Yep. Awesome. Yeah, I, I totally want a CD. One. Okay, I have one more silly question for you. Would the ocean be deeper if there were no sponges? Yes. Blew my mind. He said yes. Wow. What is your answer? <laughs> you have no have idea. You've done a lot of acid. <laughs> no. <laughs> you want to? No. <laughs> <laughs> so the official answer is yes, and I think we have to test this theory. <laughs> so we don't know yet, but we'll find out. One day we will take all the sponges <laughs> and we'll find out we should have spongebob maybe he knows he's scared to death right there, I'm, yeah yeah so all right well this has been an interview with saint ridley at summit music hall and you can find this on residentrockstar.com oh my god